Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my kitchen and welcome if you are visiting me today, if you are like me that love to cook fresh food for your family but also like to keep the kitchen clean and neat, you are in the right place because I will be sharing with you how I cook two delicious dinner, two different recipe for my family but at the same time I will keep my kitchen free of splatter and no messy. Remember to always start to cook with a clean kitchen in general. Then you will need a ninja foodie pot and instant pot. But if you want to cook everything at once, like me today, you also will need a rice cooker and probably a small oven. And let us start with the first menu. And here we have an air fried cassava, air fried chicken leg with a curry sauce and a an special rice and black beans. And to start to cook, you will need the measurement. I will be mentioning all the ingredients while I'm cooking and I'm cooking for four people. I love this rice, guys. Everybody love it at home. It's called con gris and it's from my country, Cuba. And for the second menu, we have roasted garlic mashed potato with spinach and mushroom cooked in coconut milk and roasted turkey sauce. Okay, the first step is to cook the beans because they are taking longer to cook. We'll be in the pressure cooker for 15 minutes and I'm using the instant pot for it. What I do, I cook the whole bag that come in, in one pound in one bag and I use half of my rice and beans. I add a lot of water because I'm going to use it to cook my rice and I want plenty of water for that. In the meantime, I'll be marinating the chicken legs. Two tablespoons of chicken seasoning, the one you prefer, one teaspoon of thyme leaf, one teaspoon of ground cumin, one teaspoon of Italian seasoning, one teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and some olive oil. I'm going to give a good massage and then I will marinate it and will keep it refrigerated for about one or two hours, minimum. After the two hours on my ninja food, I will be placing some whole garlic cloves and some piece of lemon. And then I will be placing my chicken legs and I'm going to set my ninja food on pressure mode for 15 minutes. And while the chicken legs are cooking, the beans are ready to make my rice. And for it, at first I will be sauteing some garlic and onion in olive oil, and I will be adding it to my rice that is already in the rice cooker. And for more flavor, I will be adding some nor with tomato flavor. This is one of my favorite to give some color and flavor to the rice. And you know, nor is my favorite. I am cooking four cup of rice and one cup of beans, but if you like more beans, you can add more or less, depend on your taste. And for the water, four cup of rice, five cup of water. Of course, including the water that the beans cook in. While the rice is cooking, the chicken legs are ready. I set the ninja food it on air crisp for 20 minutes. And it's time to cook the cassava. I cook them until they are soft enough ready to put it in the air fryer. And when this is happening, my rice is ready. Mmm, it looks amazing. <laughs> I want to mention the two hot peppers that I place on top of the rice. Their name is crystal peppers. And I didn't open them and just for flavor, but if you like spicy, you can open them and mix it with the rice, or you just can also add sweet peppers. And my chicken legs are ready too beautiful crispy chicken legs so easy to make and the healthiest way and also of course no messy place around and i'm gonna be using this curry sauce with creamy coconut and spicy and to take advantage of this goodness that the chicken legs left behind in the pot and i'm gonna make a sauce for the chicken and I'm gonna be adding a touch of the tomato sauce just for a little bit of color and also flavor. But you can leave it just like that as a curry sauce. Just let it steamer for about two minutes and that's it. The sauce will be ready.
and the cuts are already boiled a little bit softer than uh, what I want but uh, it turned out okay so I just put it like that in the air fryer and carefully and separate them and add a little bit of olive oil you know the cassava had this little piece in the middle you need to remove them so and that's it let's put an air fryer after the olive oil a little pinch of salt and it will be there for 15 minutes and that's it <laughs> the cassava are ready too and that's it, dinner is ready. I present to you my first menu. Easy, clean, and fast. And no messy around. Here you have a perfect dinner for a weekend. Just make some salad and that's it. Enjoy. For my second recipe, I started with the sausage, the turkey sausage. You also can use any kind of meat or any other kind of sausage that you like. I just going to sprinkle some olive oil and I'm gonna roast it for 25 minutes at 400 Fahrenheit. Then I will be placed the garlic to be roasted at the same time with the sausage. And to cook the spinach will be very easy, just add some olive oil in a hard uh, instant pot, add some garlic, some onion, and then you're gonna saute spinach there with the mushrooms. Also, you're gonna be adding one tablespoon of the North seasoning, a touch of the tomato sauce on top of the coconut milk. And just let it simmer for a few minutes, two to three, and that's it, we'll be ready for serving. but keeping your kitchen clean and neat. So I just use my Ninja Foodie. Again, just to remind you, I use my Ninja Foodie, my Instant Pot, my rice cooker, and a small oven. Just put your pot in the dishwasher and keep enjoying your day. Your kitchen is clean and your dinner is ready. So I hope to see you in my next video for now. Bye bye, have a good one.